So, if you're thinking of buying a balloon cake to decorate for your party, it's a kit, so it should be easy, right? Well, you might want to think twice before buying it. Hi, welcome to Decor Lab. My name is Julia and in this video I'm going to try out a balloon kit from Amazon to see if it really looks like advertised picture. So first of all, let me tell you that I already pretty much knew this balloon kit wouldn't work because I know they used somebody else's picture from, for the listing. And that's a big red flag. I recognize this main picture is actually a display by Ilari Events. Shout out to them, their work is gorgeous. But if you scroll through the pictures on Amazon, you can see the actual balloons are not the same color as the main picture. So this is what the kit looks like. Everything comes in one bag. You get 134 pieces, which includes a mix of balloon sizes, glue dots, and balloon strip, which is what you're supposed to build your garland on. All right, let's get started putting this together. Aside from the color difference, the first thing I noticed is that these balloons are thinner than the quality brand ones which means they are going to be more likely to pop, especially if you plan to put a balloon garland outside. Quite a few of the balloons also have imperfections or splashy patches. If they are small imperfections, you could try to hide them with the way you position the balloon, but some of the imperfections are on the entire balloon. Also, you can see the 5-inch balloons are actually a completely different color than the larger balloons. So, instead of having three colors, you actually have five different colors. Now, if you're going to use the provided balloon strip, you will need to tie off each balloon individually. Then the idea is to just pull the knot through the holes of the strip and keep attaching your balloons all the way along the strip. This is just not working for me, so I'm going to tie the balloons together in pairs and then make the garland with a twine. So now that we have the main garland put together, it's time to use our glue dots to add smaller balloons and additional clusters to fluff up our garland. These glue dots sort of work, but they're not very sticky, so a lot of balloons keep falling off. And here's the final result. Definitely not what was advertised in the picture. Now let me show you how I would create something similar to the inspiration picture. The balloons in this picture are double stuffed, which is why they are thicker and more opaque in appearance. I'm going to use the following colors for my recreation, all by Sambratax. Peach stuffed inside of the white, white sand stuffed inside of the white, and a reflex pink. I would use the rose gold balloons instead of the reflex pink to match my color palette to the inspiration picture, but I just didn't have it on hand. So we're going to use the reflex pink instead. After I get these all stuffed and inflated, I'm going to use 260s, also known as a modeling balloon, to put the garland together rather than a balloon strip or twine. I'm going to build my garland on a copper base frame and I'm also going to add a floral arrangement with the tropical leaves and pampas grass. And here is my mini recreation of the look by Ilari events. Now let's talk about the difference between the Amazon balloon kit and more professional garland. The total cost for the kit was $17.90, which included 132 balloons, a balloon strip, and a roll of glue dots. The total cost for just the balloons in our recreation was about $120. We used 334 balloons plus additional 260s to string the garland together. We also used a copper base and a floral arrangement, which is about another $300 worth of materials. With this kit, I was able to create a garland about 8 feet long, while my recreation was a lot bigger. 
The balloons in the kit are inconsistent in color and some of them have really noticeable imperfections. Because we put them together with a string and glue dots, the garland is looser and has gaps in it. On the other hand, our garland is a lot thicker and fluffier and the colors are consistent. So is it worth it to buy a kit? If you don't want to spend a lot of money or you don't care too much about the colors, a balloon kit would be okay for you. But definitely check the reviews so you know what you're getting into. And it also might be a good idea to have additional supplies in case the ones in the kit don't work for you. But if you want a really nice looking garland or you are expecting it to look like in the picture, you probably don't want to buy a kit. If you want to see us try out other balloon kits, leave a comment below and let us know. In the meantime, make sure to check out our other balloon tutorials and I will see you in the next video.